So the next thing we're going to talk about is the different modes that the radar has for the Halo family. If you hit menu, you see the top mode. We have these five different modes. Custom is more of your manual mode. So when you select custom and go back, you notice I can go in and change any of the settings in the radar. So noise rejection is if we're getting a lot of false returns, we can set that filter to low, medium, or high. Target threshold is at what point do we want to filter out some of those smaller targets or false returns. Preset at 30, you can bring that down or bring it up. Target expansion, so target expansion takes a smaller target and it blows it up in the screen. So if I go down to off, you'll notice that as it rolls around, these targets have now shrunk in size. Interference rejection, uh, that's only when you have another radar transmitting uh, near or your proximity. You can now, it starts at, uh, at low and you can bring it up to a medium and high level uh, if you're starting to, get, again, get false returns from somebody else's radar. Target separation, this is basically separating small targets close together. You've got to be careful with this setting because you do have a low, medium, and high. But as you increase your target separation, you also reduce your distance for smaller targets. So if you're using it for close-in radar, you're going to use it high. It's going to separate every target that's close together, every marker pole. And then the last one is fast scan. So off is traditional 24 RPM. Medium will go to 36 RPM. And high will take you to 48 RPM, except when you're under two miles, it will actually take you to 60 RPM. So that is your custom mode.